Alright all you Thundercats out there, welcome back to War Thunder with the Angry Nerd. Today we are going to take a look at the A6M2 and the A6M2N float plane. So they are basically the same plane. Let's take a look at the tree. Here in the uh, tree, the A6M2N float plane is the first plane you can get with 20 millimeter cannons here. And they are effective. This float plane is a rank 2 fighter with a battle rating of 2.7. A max speed of 200. Oh, let me verify that before I say that. Uh, we can squeak something else out of the max speed cover. Um, another miles per hour. So, like the max speed will be about 282 miles per hour. It has a 23.3 second turn time, which will get a little bit better, and comes equipped with two 7.7 millimeter machine guns and two Type 99 20 millimeter cannons. So it's slow, a little bit cumbersome uh, compared to the other. Uh, Ryzen fighters. It, uh, it's no match for them, but uh, still, um, you'll enjoy the 20 millimeter cannons and you will enjoy this until you get this. And this, my friends, is the A6M2. Let's talk about it. It's a rank 2 with a battle rating of 3.7 has a max speed of 345 miles per hour and 18.3 second turn time comes with two 7.7 millimeter machine guns and two type 99 20 millimeter cannons with 120 rounds have a few more rounds for those cannons this thing would be a super beast. It's an animal as it is. Um, you can see by that battle rating of 3.7. Um, this is uh, one of my favorite Japanese fighters. And when you get this in your lineup, uh, I'll be hard pressed to, to see you take it out. It's that good. Um, so, that being said, uh, let's go see what we can do with uh, these Japanese planes. Alrighty, let's see what we can do. Got ten American. All right. Yeah, I don't even know how to pronounce this map name, but it's a domination map. Let's start off with the A6M2N float plane. Really don't see any place to land around here. Want to be capping any airfield with this bad boy. But it does have decent maneuverability and two 20 millimeter cannons 
and I am impressed with the Japanese 20 millimeter cannons. Okay, we got a P36 coming down low. B25. make a little pass at the HE-51 and then try to get the P-36. Somebody already got the P-36. HE-51's already turned around on me. How did I miss that? Got it, finally. Lots of guns on that DO-217. And the A6M2 just not quite fast enough to get out of the way. Okay, this PBY is close, so I just, you know, yeah. When something's that close, you got to throw a couple of rounds on it. Care of that. P sixty three over here. Somebody else took care of that. No more Spitfire. Oh, my cannons are out.
pit fire is gone. Oh, somebody's on me. When you're in a Japanese fighter and somebody is on you, you turn. Getting too greedy. Getting too greedy. I need more cannons. Critical hit on him. Got him. But that's it. That's all it could do. Couldn't do no more. All right. So we went in with two planes we scored nine kills with two planes and I probably could have done a little bit better with that um, float plane and got one with it and the other eight came with the um, A5M2. I believe that's what it is. Your best defense in those Japanese planes are to turn. They're slow. You fly straight. Somebody fly up behind you and catch you. But they can't turn with you. Not even the Spitfire can turn with the Japanese Zero. So, let's go ahead and just return to the hangar instead. Well, we got just one minute here. We'll hold out. Take a look at some of these other planes in the game. All right, 
let's go ahead and repair the A6 M2. I don't really need that, but I'll go ahead and get it anyway and research the cover. Yeah, why not go ahead and buy those? Okay, so we got the Fighter Award and Battle Trophies of 15,000. Very nice. Uh, that puts me up over 6 million lions. 35,906 lions earned. The premium bonus was 12,345. The modification bonus, 1,227. And the vehicle research bonus, 367. We destroyed nine enemy airplanes, one in the A6. M2N and 8 in the A6M2. Um, to assist, did pretty good for going into the battle with only two planes. So, I hope you enjoyed this look at the A6M2N, just the float plane, and the A6M2, which is the regular. Now, although they're the same plane with the float stuck on the bottom of it, that makes so much of a difference. It slows it down. It affects its flight characteristics and maneuverability. But this A6M2 can fight with almost any of the tiers. I mean, on up, I use this, um, throw it in my lineup when I'm fighting uh, tier 3 and tier 4 planes. Um, I really, really like this plane. Um, it handles better than does the um, A6M5s. It handles better than the A6M5s really does. It's, I think, the best handling of all of them. It's limited on its ammo amount, though. But anyway, highly recommend this plane. Love it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more from the Angry Nerd, please let me know. Leave a comment. Like it if you like it. Don't if you didn't. And as always, thanks for watching. Nerd out.